Blues versus bluesy. Very important concept, which I think helps shift the dynamics of the weight that a guitar player needs to have in their mind as to how to play guitar. And what I mean by that is, you might, if you watch any of my blues videos, you might have heard me say that the, the uh, blues ingredients are seventh chords. So I first want to talk about that. To play a legitimate blues, as in the category of the blues, you need to be playing a 1-4-5 progression. So we'll do this in A, all right? So let's just talk. Let's make sure we got this. 1-4-5 and five in A is A, D, and E. And a lot of you might know this already, okay? I get it, but you need to be able to follow along. So I need to play this as a seventh chord, not a major chord, but a seventh chord, which is five, seven, five, six, five, five. Now we gotta talk about that. What happens, and the reason why, is you might have heard me say in another video, sorry, I got, <laughs> my God, that's my laundry machine. My laundry is done, thank you. And uh, here we go. So is that the, the sound of the blues is the minor scale on top of a major chord progression. Now a seventh chord is a major chord. This is called a dominant seventh chord for any of you who um, haven't heard that term before, but seventh and dominant seventh are the same exact thing. It's kind of like a uh, Will or Bill or um, Dick or Richard type deal, okay? So if you hear seventh, it means dominant seventh. If you hear dominant seventh, it means seventh. What that is, is a major chord, a major chord with what's called a flat seven. In it, okay, and that flat seven is also known as a minor seventh. I know it's the terms that really mess us up, but it's a, a an A seven chord is an A major chord with an added flat seven or a minor seventh. Now let's talk about the importance of that. Now my cat's going crazy. This is going to be a great video. All right, so we have this minor seventh. All right, and what that does is that helps bind my minor scale to the chord progression. So you have this major chord with this flat seven right there, helps bind my minor pentatonic to the chord progression. Now, that's the most important thing, all right? So a blues progression, blues has to have a seventh chord in the foundation with the minor scale. Now it could be a minor blues scale, it could be anything, but it has to have a minor type scale on top. We'll talk about that in other videos. Now, bluesy. All right, bluesy is different. I'm gonna tell you the story about Starbucks in early 2000s. They, they had to change their name from their double chocolate chip frappuccino to the double chocolatey chip frappuccino because it didn't have any chocolate in it. It had cocoa, but it didn't have chocolate. So the premise is, well, if it doesn't have chocolate, you can't say it's double chocolate. So they say, well, it's chocolatey, okay? Kind of like um, um, margarine, we say it's very buttery, which means it doesn't have any butter in it, but it's buttery. So here we're gonna talk about bluesy, which really doesn't have the blues in it, but it has blues elements. Usually it involves ones, fours, and fives, like the blues, again, always volume. But in this type, it, this term, it's gonna have major chords. Now, the difference is, is that you can play a 12 bar blues with major chords, but it's not defined, and it's not gonna sound as sharp as a real blues progression using seventh chords. So a bluesy progression, now for you Fish fans out there, and I highly suggest that if you haven't heard Fish, like listen to some of their stuff, it's awesome. Uh, the song Undermined is a, a, a blues progression, but it uses major chords. So it has this bluesy type feel, but it's not a blues progression. So the difference is you have this, this one, four, five, A major, to a D major. And what happens, and, and this is the fundamental difference, so we're about uh, four minutes or so, depending on how long my intro is. Um, when you're playing a blues progression, okay, when you're playing a blues progression, and you have that seventh chord, you have seven chords in there, you can play your minor scale on top, it's gonna sound great. If you're playing a bluesy progression, which only has major chords, okay, that gives you the freedom to play the major scales on top of these guys because there's no minor seventh. So here's a blues progression, seventh chords, with your minor scales, and there's my, I'll keep going, sorry. So that was 
blues. That was seventh chord minor scale. Here's a blues E progression, which is just A, D, and E major, and I'm gonna play A major on top of it. Now you get a very happy sound. You get the Grateful Dead sound. You get the fish sound. You get an Almond Brothers type sound when you do this. Again, blues based progression without the blues fundamentals, bluesy. A, D, and E, and I'm gonna play the A major scale. Now the A major scale I was using, by the way, five seven four five seven four six seven four six seven five seven four five. You can you can rewind that. I went fast, all right. But that, that, there it is. And you can hear the fundamental differences. So now, if you're playing, here's the recap, all right. Seventh chords one four and five. A7, D7, E7, use your minor pentatonic, you're going to sound like the blues. If you want to write a song that has a blues type influence, my cat is going crazy. I don't, I, he probably sees something. And um, you have your, if you want to write something that's bluesy, but has more of a major feel, very much like Undermined by Fish. Okay, go check out the song, you'll hear it. You can use your major chords and then the major scale on top of it. So we have blues and we have bluesy. You as a guitar player need to realize the weight is not on you to pop notes out and be this wondrous guitar player. The weight is on you to understand the whole picture. And that's what I'm gonna try and do mm -hmm. with every lesson. So please let me know how this lesson was for you. I hope it was quick, I hope it made sense. I hope it opened up some doors. For those of you who already knew this, I appreciate you watching. You know, you can ask questions if you want me to elaborate. Again, subscribe, please share. The Stitch Method, where it all makes sense. I'm gonna go see what's up with my cat. Bye.